I played my club rugby with Taranier uh, since I was like four years of age. Kind of came through all the age groups there. Played my school, my school rugby there as well. Then kind of got into the Leinster under 20s. Then kind of worked my way onto the Irish 20 squad to um, New Zealand. I got got injured actually in the, in the team run there, and I had to come home the next day basically. So that was a big, a big kind of downside, and that was a massive opportunity uh, loss for me. Kind of off the back of that, got got scouted by Ulster, and then got offered a um, full time full time academy there. For those four years, rugby was literally absolutely everything. Like, like rugby is still a huge, huge kind of part of my life, but it's not absolutely everything anymore. I kind of felt like there was a massive kind of like gap um, in relation to other elements of my life that kind of wasn't being really fulfilled. That kind of stuff. And that's kind of when the opportunity of Richmond came along. It was um, it couldn't have been better timing. Culture fit is absolutely everything to me, and it's something that. Um, that I don't know, I was as aware of how impo its importance to me as of last year. Since, I, since I've moved, moved over to London, I made this kind of big step. Richmond have kind of just made it so easy. They've they found me at home to live in. They've, they've also, also furnished it. Um, they also found me a job. First kind of thing that pops into my mind, what I think of Richmond so, so far would be kind of an all for one kind of atmosphere and attitude. Like for example, when I was making this move, I literally probably had around 10 people surrounding me kind of making the, the move an awful lot easier and the support was absolutely incredible. So I moved over on a Saturday and uh, got into my room and it was actually unfurnished. The group kind of came together and got me sorted for furniture, so I was actually sleeping on the floor. Some of the guys obviously are quite supportive with the whole transport system as well, because we actually get trains to games and that kind of stuff. And I've been, uh, some of them have uh, guided me the right way because I could you know, train to Bristol when I was supposed to be in Nottingham like uh, a couple of times and that kind of stuff. I'm still really, kind of really, really hungry to do well in rugby. Like it's still a m massive aspiration of myself. Like because I obviously didn't get that opportunity, it kind of got taken away from me quite, um, quite swiftly with the Irish in the 20s. I never got the chance to uh, play that pl play that level. So I do still have quite a lot of, very much so, a lot of uh, ambition to to proceed in the game. Yeah. This is actually probably the best the best quality of rugby I've ever played. Um, I, I didn't get any kind of caps for the first team or anything like that. But also I was more so kind of in the training squad and would have played the A games and that kind of stuff as well. So this is definitely kind of leaps and bounds in relation to being a front row anyway. It's definitely leaps and bounds ahead of wherever I've, where I've been before. My scrummaging has kind of come on big time. Everyone I've kind of scrummaged against would have been definitely of a higher standard that I would have been exposed to last year. Some of the props, they kind of can give you a lesson or two in this, in this league. You're not really kind of get that in the club rugby that I was playing in Ireland. Like I've already kind of got the scrummage against people like, like Tonga Wea, who's probably got triple figure caps for Northampton, that kind of stuff, and that kind of uh, experience is like invaluable. Like there's a special bond here between the players. It's a genuine power of our team. Is is the bond we have within with, within our fellow players. Like it's everyone's treated the same. If it's someone in the minis, right up to kind of like like Will Warden as captain, everyone's treated with respect and um, everyone's given support when needed. Like we've no license to be doing how well we've been doing so far, and that's I feel that's the um, the cement and why we why we're doing quite well so far. It was a huge risk, kind of me coming over here because. I didn't, if I'm being totally honest, I didn't do that much kind of research. I also wanted to play at good level, so the championship, I get to work, I kind of, there's not, there's, there's no real looking back there. I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely thrilled that I've made this decision and um, yeah, and I wouldn't look back in any way. <laughs>